Deep Ellum is known for uh, good music and its roots in Dallas run deep. The neighborhood was a hotbed for early jazz and blues in the 1920s. And tonight, with an eye to Black History Month, we meet a founding father. Here's Kevin Reese. At the corner of Elm and Good Latimer, old Deep Ellum on one side is quickly giving way to the explosion of the new on the other. And where Elm passes under the freeway. Deep Elm has been mythologized beyond recognition. Documentarian and author Alan Governor wants to talk about the Deep Elm that's already gone. This was the nexus point. This was the meeting of the black and white worlds of Dallas. A corner of Deep Elm long lost to the freeway, where black and white became a melting pot of musical colors on Friday and Saturday nights. I think it's especially significant that Blind Lemon stood at the corner of Elm and Central. Blind Lemon Jefferson, the first black blues artist to put Dallas and Deep Ellum on the map in the early 1900s. He discovered here, made famous with 80 recordings at a studio in Chicago before his untimely death in 1929 at the age of 36. A train brought his body home to Wortham, Texas, an hour south of Dallas to be buried in an all-black cemetery. And when I went to Wortham in 1987, I went looking for his grave and couldn't find it. But you can find it now. An hour south of Dallas in Wortham at a cemetery that bears his name. He's at the back, next to a pasture barbed wire fence, a Texas historic landmark, where visitors leave stones and coins and guitar picks. Next to his epitaph, carved in granite, a lyric from one of his songs. Lord, it's one kind favor I'll ask of you. But why are we talking about him now? With the matchbox on my clothes. Akeem Babatunde has played Jefferson on stage before. You hear the blues, spirituals in those rhythms. It is the DNA from which I am. That DNA was in me and was evoked in a strange way. Kind of call and response that takes place today in rap. So it's consistently revisiting in us. I, I think that that's that's his power. He infused Deep Ellum with an energy that Deep Ellum today should aspire to. So this June, if the pandemic allows, Blind Lemon will sing one more time. A new play Governor and Babatunde will produce at the Undermain Theater. This time a newcomer, Jeremy Davis, will give him voice. He's from Mejia, Blind Lemon's hometown. Literally um, baffled that I didn't know anything about him being from that area. Mm. But uh, I'm glad I know now. You can still find evidence of Blind Lemon in Deep Ellum, a mention on the occasional historic marker, a faded banner on Canton Street with modern Dallas and its skyscrapers, rising behind the Deep Ellum treasure. And if you listen as you stand on Elm under the freeway, Alan Governor says just maybe you can still hear his voice. And Akeen and I like to joke with people we bring over there that listen closely, you'll hear the ghosts of old yeah. Ellum. Well, and Blind Lemon Jefferson. A voice that brought the world to Deep Ellum. A voice and a neighborhood ready to rise and sing again. Well, a matchbox hold my clothes. In Deep Ellum, in Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.